So just preparing now to um, head out to Kinder Scout. Um, it's going to be a very, very hot day. So yeah, I'll take it easy today. Um, I'll take the drone up there, get some good pictures. Probably over the reservoir, up by William Clough, up to the downfall. Will be nice, uh, nice views up there. It's kind of like an eight, eight mile round trip. So. Um, yeah, there'll be uh, some great views of the downfall. Um, <clears throat> we'll see what's going on up there. I imagine it'll be quite busy because the campsite's busy. So, yeah, look forward to it. I'll see you up there. Okay, so herein lies my journey. Just started on the uh, road up to, well, up Kinder Road, which leads me a little bit way up, maybe a quarter of a mile. And then I turn off to, uh, towards the Kinder Reservoir, which hopefully I'll get some good shots of. Amazing day, so lucky. I, um, I canceled my last holiday because it was due at the beginning of June and that's when we had all that rain um, so it's a really good decision to do that it's passing some great stuff at the minute just can't believe how much there is to see love being out in nature Okay, so we just reached the uh, footpath which takes us up to the reservoir. Absolutely awesome around here. I couldn't ask for anything better. Walking right next to a little stream. Yeah, beautiful. Glorious day. Lights coming through the uh, all of the trees and the foliage and looks really good. Okay, so this is going to be the first of, uh, I'm sure, many incredibly steep walks. I'm already out of breath, but we shall plod on. Oh wow, <laughs> it doesn't get any better up there. I was expecting a, a nice sort of easy incline, but that's not working. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're at Kinder Reservoir now. Absolutely amazing looking. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna take the drone for a spin here. It's a little bit windy, but it should be okay. Don't know if they'll get angry at me from taking the drone around, but we'll see. Okay, so uh, just walking up by the side of the reservoir now. Beautiful, beautiful views. Uh, just making our way up to uh, William Clough and where he kicked off the trespass. I'm looking forward to a stop and a um, something to drink, I think. Not quite hungry just yet. I'm still, uh, still quite full after breakfast this morning, but we'll see how it goes. As you can see behind me, um, that's Kinder Scout, just up there. I think that's the downfall as well, the big waterfall, but I'm not sure. I might be a little bit far from it at the moment. Um, yeah, between me and you, I'm a bit worried about scaling that thing. <laughs> my stamina's not what it used to be at my age, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm now at the uh, site of William Clough, um, where he led uh, a bunch of protesters, for want of a better term, uh, against sort of landowners and wealthy, uh, wealthy people um, for the freedom to roam, which kind of kicked off uh, people being able to uh, freely roam England's great lands without getting shot. So as you can see behind me, I think we're going to start the ascent now. I think I might have taken the, uh, the more challenging route because there's some, uh, some routes over that way that people are taking and then straight up the other side. So we'll see anyway.
Okay, starting to uh, sweat a little bit now. It's getting a little bit warm and the, uh, the path's getting a little bit rough. But that's good, that's what we're out here for. Loads of little amazing waterfalls as you turn the next corner. Let's be careful underfoot, but yeah, brilliant. Wow. I would not be anywhere else right now. Perfect. Okay, so yet again, another amazing waterfall as I turn the corner. It's really warm now. Um, it almost makes me want to just go and sit in it, which I'm not going to do, but I'd really like to right now. It's so warm. Look how cool that is. Not sure if it's uh, drinkable. But I'll have a can of Coke shortly, a bit of sugar, keep my uh, energy up. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Sorry if it's a bit windy, I've lost my uh, windsock to the microphone. Um, but yeah, I haven't done a lot of uh, videoing on the way up here because between you and me, that was a killer. That really took it out of me. Very, very, very steep. Um, I had to stop loads of times. As you can see, pretty high up now. So, I'm going to get to the top and then uh, I'll check in then with you.
so I'll have to apologise about the noise. Uh, my stupid windsock has flown off. I knew it would. Uh, road. If you're listening, your wireless go windsocks need uh, or windshields need redesigning. Uh, I know a lot of people complain about them, um, but absolutely ridiculous. It's flown off somewhere. Uh, I didn't bring a spare one with me, uh, so unfortunately my recording is going to be made not great with the wind. Um, but yeah, uh, just making my way round to uh, the downfall now. Um, it's been quite an arduous journey getting here, I'll be honest. It's been incredibly uh, tough on my legs. Um, I'm sure many of you have done this route are probably calling me a bit of a wuss, but uh, yeah, I need to get my stamina back after a lot of years. So um, I think I've done quite well. Um, but anyway, I'll see you back round at, at the downfall and uh, hopefully get some uh, good drone footage. So, um, that's it, we've reached Kinder Downfall. While we're getting here, but we made it. Just uh, holding onto my mic, because once again, shout out to Rode Wireless Go for your stupid windshield design, where the, uh, they just pop off. Um, but regardless, it's amazing around here. I'm not sure how far you can get to the side, but I don't think I'm willing to risk it. So yeah, start the journey back down to the uh, campsite now through the uh, Kinder Nature Reserve. Should get some good photos down there. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, I've got the drone out to have a fly of it, but as you can probably hear, it, the wind is absolutely crazy. Um, up here, the drone's only 240 grams. Um, it's a DJI Mini 2. I'm sure somebody somewhere out there will tell me not to be a wuss and it'll be okay flying, but the gusts, um, we're literally taking it. Um, so I didn't really want to risk flying up here. Uh, I'll get some good shots a bit later with it. Scout Summit approaching. But it looks like we have some morons straddling it, so we won't be able to get too close. Oh, 
Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me. Um, hopefully you can. It's very, very windy here now. Um, just uh, past the summit and making our way back down this quite convenient uh, stone pathway uh, towards the campsite now. So it's the last leg of the journey. I feel like I've been out a lot longer than I needed to be, but I have taken quite a few rests. Uh, I haven't eaten my sandwiches. I don't really feel like anything to eat. Uh, I've got a can of Coke left, which was kind of saving, but I think I'm pretty close to uh, needing to drink that. So yeah. So it seems like uh, it's been hours, but we're finally making the descent. I say we, me, and whoever else is up here. There's quite a few people actually. Um, there's a lot of uh, older folk who are putting me to shame. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're making the descent now. I saw people uh, coming down as I was going up and I was saying that I was jealous of them. And they said, no, no, going down's a lot worse than coming up. Um, I'm yet to believe that. <laughs> going up was horrible. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. Certainly nowhere near as bad as going up. Well, that day was uh, a lot more challenging than I expected. Um, it was easy going up to and a little past the reservoir. Um, and then things got pretty uh, hectic in terms of, excuse me, in terms of how, um, how steep uh, the climb was up towards Kinder Scout. I didn't expect that at all. Um, Definitely wasn't prepared for it. I didn't take uh, enough water and also I am incredibly burnt. I was out for <clears throat> a lot longer than I expected, probably about six hours. Um, <laughs> and yeah, every time I turned a corner when I thought I was uh, close to reaching the summit and then, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is a little hoarse um, after that walk. Um, reaching the summit, there was another sort of um, steep incline to traverse. So, yeah, it was uh, interesting. Uh, and then, as we're sort of coming down and starting to come down, we saw um, a young lady who looked like she was in a bit of distress. I think she'd uh, taken on far more than she expected to as well. So, um, she was being helped along by uh a guy she was with and holding on to him um a little bit further down coming on the incline was so much easier than the uh sorry the decline uh, so much easier than the incline uh, i met a couple of people um big shout out to lucy and lucy and kirsty um we <laughs> they they asked me if they were close to edale and in fact they were probably a good hour and a half two hour walk away from Edale so uh, I laughed and they um, looked a bit panicked so uh, I said if they come with me this is probably about half an hour away from camp um, I said I could take them back uh, drive them back to Edale um, in the car so they came back chilled out around camp for a little bit and had a nice time um, yeah and then I drove them back that was also adventurous because we were going to go to a pub and maybe have something to eat and a drink. Um, but they, uh, <laughs> the Kirsty, no, Lucy, who was in front, she sped off and we lost her a little bit. Um, she was going miles away from Edale. So uh, me and Kirsty pulled over in our separate cars. We tried to contact her, but we hit a no signal area. So it was like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Um, so we carried on. Um, we went uh, 
down this little road. Kirsty took off like a bat out of hell. Um, and then um, I lost her, and I think I turned up a road that I shouldn't have done. I hit a no signal area, and I was like, right, game over. So I sort of drove back on myself a little bit, found some signal. I was able to get GPS and signal, and then, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, find the way back to the campsite, which is where I am now. I'm so hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm burnt, um, I'm burnt all over my face, so I think tomorrow is probably going to be uh, a lot more of a relaxing one for me. Um, I'm not sure why my voice is hoarse, again I didn't take enough water with me, I only took one bottle of water and two cans of coke. Um, I realised how challenging that was as I started to reach the summit. I think it was about nine miles in the end, which doesn't seem a great deal. I've done plenty of nine mile walks. I've done plenty of 15 mile walks, but this was just so challenging with the with the terrain. Um, so, but it was good. I enjoyed it and it ended up really fun uh, with Kirsty and Lucy. So uh, thanks for making it special. And um, yeah, see what happens next.